vlog, and this is a video we've been talking about recording for ages. A long time, it? many a week, probably even longer to be honest with you. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff required, but today we're going to be doing an IQ test for Labine. That's, this that's, is Labine right here, who's actually called Evie, but we call her Labine all the time. Where did that come from? Evie, Beavie, Evie, Be Beanie. Beanie baby. Beanie baby, yeah. I know, we're weird nicknames for all the animals, to be honest with you. But the reason we wanted to do this is it's come up in one of my videos before. I don't know if it was a Skyrim video, but I looked at where Evie ranked on the list of most intelligent dog breeds, and in my head, it was like 46. Uh, you just looked it up, didn't no, you? No, I think it's 71 out of 137, so, or 73rd. So you're looking at worse than 50% uh, of animal breeds. Yeah, so if you lined up breed. every single dog breed, and there was like, what, 100, 137? 130 seven on this list on Wikipedia. Evie is like almost halfway the stupidest. Uh, yeah. Or smartest, <laughs> depending on how you look at it. Now, like Evie does know a few tricks. She knows sit. Yeah. She knows down. She knows stay. She knows go to bed. Yeah, she's good at that one. And last night when she needed to go for a wee and the cat flap was locked, she did a teeny tiny bark, which she's never done never, before. That was so good. So she's learning all the time. She's basically Einstein. We did try and teach her roll over, but she was having none of that. No. Did, did she ever do it? Did we ever make her do it? No. She seems like she understands us, but only on like a certain wavelength. Like, I'm not sure she's the most intelligent dog in the world, but we're going to test it. I have faith that she's actually going to smash this and prove it herself to be a proper little doggy Einstein. Can you not tell by the expression she's pulling right now. So today we're gonna to test her for real with a doggy IQ test. I'm gonna link it in the description below, so if you guys wanna do it with your dogs as well, yeah. let me know what the results are and we can see how they all stack up. And Evie, if you do really well in this test, there's actually a special reward Ooh. at the end for you. Ooh. And you're gonna be getting loads of treats in this as well, so this is a fun day for you. She does not Libby. realize how much food she's about to get. I know, literally. So Evie, shall we start with your doggy IQ test? What do you think? Say hooray! Yeah! <laughs> Mwah. Kiss on my eyeball. Darcy, stay. Darcy, sit. Good boy. Let me sniff my finger. Good boy. He's number one intelligent cat. Yeah, literally, he's not 73rd. He's like <laughs> top 10, I'd say. The test number one is the towel test. What we're gonna do is put a towel on Evie's head. If she can get it off in 15 seconds, she gets three points. If she can get it off in 15 to 30 seconds, she gets two points. And if it's longer than that or she can't get it off, she gets one point for being really cutie bee. Them's our rules. Are you ready, Evie? Evie, look alive. Look alive, Evie. Get ready. There's treats on the line here. There's treats on the line. Okay, so this is the towel we're going to be using. It Very is nice. Evie's I've been out in the wild Xbox towel. I like it. Now, as soon as you were reading out that challenge point, I was like, I don't think Evie's going to be very good simply because she spends so much time in our bed and she's used to going yeah. under the quilt every now and then. I don't know if she'll be settled and not really mind that there's something on her. I think I have faith in Evie for this. I don't think she really likes stuff on her head. So I think she's going to be a solid three-pointer. I'm going for two points. Okay, do you want to be the timer? And I'll I will be the, be the putter on the header. Let's do it. Okay, let's do this. Okay, Vini, you've got this. You just need to take the towel off your head, okay? Ready to start the timer? Okay, I've got the timer ready. Three, two, one, go. Come on, Evie. Oh my gosh, I think. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Nearly, go on, get out the towel, get out the towel. Yes! I hit stop when she came out the first time. That was good. Though. I think that counts. Seven seconds. I That's think that counts. Three points. You know, she looked like she looked like a dog, Red Riding Hood, with like the hood on. Honestly, I'm giving that to her because she could so see nervous. out of it and like. Yay! You were good, Evie. I, I, you know what? You completely beat my prediction. She beat Jenna Marbles' dog. Really? <laughs> it was like seven minutes. Oh my gosh! I think they gave up on it. Good job, Beanie. Good Three job. points. Okay, we need to write a tally down. I'm gonna go get a pen and paper. Good girl. Yeah. You impressed Darcy. You never impressed Oliver. Test number one, three points. 
Okay, first test was really, really good. Good job, Evie. The second test is the treat test. So we're gonna get three bowls. I'm gonna place a treat in front of Evie under one of the bowls. Turn her around, give her attention for a second, and then let her go back to the bowls. If she knows exactly which bowl, she remembers which one, and she gets it first time, she gets three points. If she gets it wrong the first time, but then good the second time, two points. And if she totally goes for the wrong balls both times, she only gets one point for being a bean. What do you think, Labine? You have high hopes for her for this one, don't you? I think she's going to be very, very good at this one. Okay. I think she's just good at knowing treats. She's learned to compete with the cats. She's got to compete with these guys that are like expert treat hunters all the time. And Evie's learned that if you don't get your treats quickly, you don't get them at all. Okay, I... I I kind of have less hope for this Really? She's very food motivated, so you never know. Okay, so I've got the smelliest treat that I can find. I'm hoping this means easy can easy? <laughs> Evie can sniff it out as easily as possible. You see, Darcy definitely wants it, and Evie definitely, definitely wants it. So we've got three bowls here. I'm gonna put it in the middle one. So uh, maybe a hard spot for her to try and get, but she can clearly see this is going in the middle one, Evie. I'm gonna turn that over so it's in there. It's not in there, it's not in there. Just a reminder, it's here, Evie, okay? And now Fanny to distract and see if okay, she's in the okay? Let's see, let's see, where is the treat? Where is the treat? Okay, ready? Three, two, one, go! favorite spot test. So Evie's favorite spot in this room is actually her bed in the corner of the room because whenever she comes back from a walk, whenever we take her out to the toilet, if she runs back into the bed, then she gets a little treat straight away as a well done for going to her bed. And her bed is currently in the corner. So what we're gonna do is move the bed to a new area of the room and then reopen the door. If Evie goes straight to her bed, and she gets three points. If it takes her a little while to figure out where the bed is, but then she does eventually find it, she gets two points, but if she just literally sits on the floor where her bed should be but isn't, then she's only getting one point, Levine. So this one could be quite tough because she's drawn to that corner of the room, but let's hope she understands what the bed part is. And I think to make this one extra authentic, we're gonna take her out for a little wee now so that she knows she has to come back to her favorite spot. But she gets to go outside, Levine. What do you think of that? Pretty cool. Why are you crying? It's not that sad. You've, you've got six points so far. <laughs> Excited to go for a walk? <gasps> Should we go outside? Darcy's gonna join us. Come on, sit. Good girl. Let's go. Okay, so Evie has just left, which means I'm gonna move her bed. I'm gonna move it from this corner of the room to down here by the sofa. Let me make sure that's in shot. Yeah, you guys can see that. Okay, fingers crossed, she figures it out. There's a moment of truth, we're about to open the door. Fingers crossed Evie's gonna go to the right place. Sit. Good girl. You ready? Three, two, one. Go to your bed. Bed, 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 bed. Oh, no. No. Go, go, go. You go, you go. Where's your bed? Bed, bed. Oh. What's that? That's a solid one point, Evie. Evie, you haven't even gone to bed yet. Go to bed. Go to bed, go to bed. bed, 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 go to bed. bed, 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 bed. Look, 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 over there. Bed, bed. Where's your bed? <laughs> Evie, go to bed. Bed, 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 bed. What's this? What's bed. this? Sit. <laughs> oh my gosh. I think we can safely say Evie's just failed her first test. Evie, Bumba, that's one point. That's one point right there. I'm sorry, that's a one pointer. You still get a treat though, just because you're so cute, down. Good girl. <laughs> okay, 
so the next one is called the chair puzzle and the idea of this is you're going to place a treat underneath the table or chair that's small enough that she can't get her head under but she could fit her nose and her paws under she's got to try and get the treat out in one minute if she manages it she gets three points if she doesn't manage to get it out but she is trying to use her nose and her paws to do it she gets two points and if she gives up before the minute is out she gets one point. I keep almost saying zero points, but it is just one point. But because look at this, Evie's head is so teeny tiny. We've had to modify this a tiny little bit, but we've come up with a solution that Ali is going to explain for us. So guys, with Evie's nose being honestly quite small and her whole head being quite small, she can get into small places, but her paw is a little bit smaller. So we've made a customized puzzle just for Evie. So we come down here, we have basically taken some table mats and we're gonna place the tree under here. Her nose is gonna be too big to go all the way to where the tree is at the back underneath here. But if she is smart enough and puts her paws under here, she'll be able to get it out. So that will be the test, guys. And predictions, I don't know. She's gonna try as hard as she can to get yeah. it in her nose. I don't think, she, I think it's a one. I, I do think it's a one. She, she's got a whole minute to try and get it. As long as she doesn't give up, yeah. she's gonna get two points. Okay. I, I feel a three pointer coming along. Okay, <laughs> you don't expect that. This is going to be interesting, guys. Here, Bean, get your thinking cap on. Are you ready for this one? Three points. Three points. Okay, so you've got Beanie in your arms. Yes. I'm gonna place the treat under. Let's okay. do a little cam swap. Here is the treaty. Are you ready for this? Look, you're desperate. You're desperate. Wow, yes, that is trolly. This. Three. I'm gonna stand on this. It isn't coming down. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Three. To... Oh, we need to time it. Stop, 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 stop. <laughs> okay, one minute. Go. Okay, go. I knew she'd do this. I knew she'd, she's going to try hard of her nose. You should pause, looking. You've got a minute. Oh, she's trying. Have we gone too far? That is properly under. If she lied down and put a paw, do you think she could actually reach it? I think so. She'd have to be, she'd have to go for a long reach what? though. <gasps> you can't just sit. Have you given up? Beanie. Okay, I'm gonna get further back. There. Another go, another go. Go on. Get a treat. Oh, I'll show her one more time that it's there. There, underneath. Go, get it, get it, get it. Go on, Beanie, you can do it, you can do it. Nine, eight, Go seven, on, six, five, four, <laughs> three, two, one. Oh, Baba. Oh. It's still <laughs> there, Beanie. What do you do it, Baba? Oh, no. I, I it's thought. A second one point eight. I didn't think that. I thought she would maybe only get that, unfortunately. <laughs> Oh, she just sat there like, I know mommy and daddy will give it to me, so why, why should I even bother? <laughs> why even try? Beanie needs consoling. Yeah. After that disappointing result. Beanie, yeah. You're doing so well. You need to do better, okay? You need to prove it full cabs that you're intelligent, okay? You're intelligent, little <laughs> You are so 73 right now. So 73 right now. Good girl. Okay, so the next one is the go for a walk test. So we've already taken Evie out on a walk this morning. She's had lanagans running around in the mud already. And what this test is, we're gonna randomly get up in the middle of a time when we wouldn't normally go for a walk. So since she's in this morning, that kind of counts as about now. We're gonna pick up her leash and our keys and see if Evie immediately jumps down. She gets excited. She knows she's gonna be going somewhere. She does that, she gets three points. If it takes us literally walking to the door before she starts to get in gear, then she gets two points. And if she shows no emotion at all, that is a solid one pointer. So. Hopefully the bean is doing pretty well. I think she can associate, if not her leash, because we don't always put her leash on before it goes to the car, but the car keys, she kind of knows. Yeah, I've got high hopes. I'm yeah. thinking solid three, Evie. Three, if not two. I think you're going to do good, Levine, okay? You can pull it back. 
Show them you're more than a 73, okay? You got this. Okay, you guys, so I always pick up my keys because I'm always the one driving and we often drive Evie to a load of walks. We've got her harness and her lead on the table. So there's two things for us to pick up. I'm gonna pick up my keys, Claire's gonna pick up the harness and then if Evie jumps down and comes along with us and looks excited, she's gonna get those solid three points. If it's a little bit delayed, not as many points, guys, but I do have high hopes for her. I think she's gonna nail this one. Walk test. Oh guys. <laughs> so as you can probably tell by that video, when we first got up, she did nothing. I think it's literally, this is why it's an intelligence test, because she's been for a walk for as long as yeah. So in her head, she was like, it can't be another walk. But that's the whole point of doing it at a time when it's not her walk, so it's not a routine thing. And if we we normally are like, let's go for a walk <laughs> the world. So she definitely would have run as we just like, Walked up silently, picked up everything, walked away. She kind of like, she was like, "What is going on?" However, as we approached the door, she jumped, jumped down, and sprinted after us. And she was wagging her tail loads when she got to the door because I think she was going on a walk. This test is kind of mean. So I think she does get those solid two points. Oliver says I would have given her oh, not even half a point. Oliver, that's really mean. That's really mean. <laughs> He's like, "Yes, I hate dogs." But look how pretty you are. final piece of the IQ test and I think this one's going to be hard both for her but also for us because the setup ain't easy what we have to basically do is construct a barrier with a hole looking through it so the barrier has to be higher than easy so she can't look over the top even when she's on two legs and we're going to throw a treat through the hole which she can't fit through so if she figures out in 30 seconds that to get the treat she's going to have to walk around the barrier she will get Points. If it takes her between 30 seconds and a minute, then she'll get two points. And if she gives up or just literally tries to force her way through the hole, then she gets one point. So this one could be quite hard. Evie's very treat and food motivated, but I kind of feel like she's just going to throw herself physically at the barrier. I'm not going to lie. But come on, Evie, it's your final time. Your final way to try and get a solid result, okay? You've got this, buddy. You got this beanie baby. Okay guys, so this is our version of the barrier because we don't have loads of cardboard to cut out, but what we have done is we've got two boxes like this. This is actually one of Evie's little things that she can open afterwards. But there's a hole down the middle that's definitely not Evie size. I'm gonna have to have a really good throw and try and throw it through the middle. And Evie's gonna have to work out that she has to walk around it to get the treat when it's at the back. Ali's gonna hold the cardboard in place because otherwise she's just gonna knock it over. And fingers crossed she gets it within 30 seconds. I can't imagine she's not gonna get it in 30 seconds. I think she's gonna be good at this one. Um, yeah, I don't see why not. She's, she's smart. Oh. She's too smart. She's already wrecking. This is what happens if I don't hold it. She's <laughs> just gonna plow her way through it. The hardest part of this is gonna be getting this through the gap. One. Straight away knew what to do. I think she, I don't even think she tried to go through the middle. She's she just, just like, I'm around the other side, I'm getting to that tree as quick as I can. She just like used it as a peephole more than anything. Yeah, three solid points, definitely. So her total for the whole test is three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Thirteen out of what? Uh, six times three, eighteen. Too bad. Let's have a look how that ranks in terms of her score. Okay, guys, so Evie's final score was 13 out of 18. Sounds pretty good. I don't think it's too bad. So, the scoring results are if she got 16 points or higher, then she is a brilliant high IQ dog, like a collie or a poodle. That's not you. No, not, you're not super high IQ, but you don't need to be like the Stephen Hawkins in the world, you know? You're quite happy just a little level below. So Evie actually falls into the second category, which is the 13 to 16 points. Oof, just scraping yeah. in. And her like listing is well above 
average. That's good. That's You're not good. average to me. Uh, You're well actually done. Not above average. Definitely getting some trees. So nine to twelve is average, and five to eight is below average, and one to four is not the brightest kibble in the bug. Evie, you did really well good. Well done, Mama. You go. You're the second smartest doggy of the bunch. What do you think of that? <laughs> so guys, I think we've definitely just proved the whole thing about carbs being stupid. Because Evie is a smart little cook a Rooney, definitely. And she scored well above average in her IQ test, which means even though she's had loads of treats today, she does actually get a special little box to open. Are you ready for this, Levine? Shall you ready? we go get it for her? Let's go get it. Let's get this bad boy. <laughs> so if you guys watch us on, or follow us on Instagram or Twitter, you'll have seen me went to a doggy movie premiere recently that Evie got to go and see. It was a new Wes Anderson film called The Isle of Dogs. And it was really, really good. And Evie really enjoyed it as well. And we think that this box has something to do with it. It's kind of just been chilling out for a little while, so let's see what is inside. Okay, so to celebrate the release of the film, we want to send you an extra special gift. Please find enclosed a personalized hand-knitted jumper, <sighs> especially for Wow. Me. Oh my gosh. Oh wow, look at these. Oh, this is a boss t-shirt. Okay, so I think they're the t-shirts for us. Where is Beanie's? Oh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh, Evie, what's that? Oh, oh wow! Oh, <gasps> look! Wow, that. Evie! Evie! That looks like a good size as well. Just how they've managed that. It's called Wool and the Gang. Should we try it on her? Definitely. Okay, Beanie, come here. Oh, oh my gosh! <gasps> this is so nice. This is so nice. Wow! <gasps> oh, Beanie, you look spectacular. You look so such a nice girl. You look fun. Look at you. You look. So Stop. She's got the other uh, paw through. Yeah, look. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I think you get some treaties in here as well. <gasps> a doggy chocolate bar. Don't worry, it's not actually chocolate before you guys freak out. But it is a special bar just for the bean. There you go. Is that nice, bad bar? This is the coolest It's It's really, really, I don't know how they've nailed the size. Look how pretty you look. You look so cute. Oh my gosh. These are action figures of all the dogs from the film. So that's the, you know, the t-shirt I showed you. The yeah, box yeah, yeah, yeah. And then this is all the... Evie, Evie, no trampling. Evie, you have action figures to play with. What do you think? And look, there's Atari, the boy who went to go get his dog. Okay, Evie, you've got one more present. Oh what? Then what's this? It's like a bandana. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Beanie. Look how cute and trendy. Look. Stop crying about it. <laughs> so, guys, we're all kitted out in our I Love Dogs baseball shirts. And Evie is as well in probably the coolest jumper I think I've ever, ever seen her wear. And I think we've disproved once and for all. Yes. Cubs ain't stupid. They're actually well above average. Better than normal. Yes, and Evie especially is a smart little bun bun. And even if she wasn't, she is very, very good at giving love more than anything. So giving love and being the cutest fun. thing ever. That's the best yeah. thing about Evie. So guys, if you've enjoyed this, please give it a little cheeky thumbs up. Let us know in the comments below if you want to do an IQ test, maybe for the cuts. Ooh. Maybe they are next. Which one would you think would win that? Darcy. I think Oliver. No. So let's see. Maybe we'll do a cut IQ test if you guys want to see that as well. And I hope you've enjoyed this video. And we'll see you guys in another one. Bye. bye. Say bye, Bean. Bye.